Hello, so let's talk about uh, placement groups today. See, uh, we will do theory this time. So placement groups are basically uh, a bit more advanced and we want to use them once we want to have control over our EC2 instances. Okay. So sometimes when we want control over EC2 instances, play, placement strategy. So we use these placement groups. Okay. Now that type of strategy is basically called placement group suppose if we want control over our ec2 instance placement strategy then that type of strategy strategy is defined as placement groups then we can create a placement group and then we mention one of the strategies for a group and what are the strategies so we don't get direct interaction because we don't get direct interaction with hardware aws hardware because it is cloud, AWS is cloud, so we don't get direct interaction with hardware of AWS. But we let AWS know that how we would like our EC2 instance to be placed compared to one another. <coughs> cluster. So first is cluster. Clusters instances are basically all the like uh, EC2 instances are placed at a single or in a single cluster clusters instances into low latency group in a single availability zone okay single az you can say next is spread spreads instances across underlying hardware maximum seven instances per group per availability zone can be there and this is used in critical application okay we will de see details in a second and then Third comes partition. Partitions are basically spreads instances across many different partitions. We just spread our instances in uh, different partitions within an availability zone and it can scale to hundreds of EC2 instances per group. In a group, we can place many of instances, EC2 instances like Hadoop, Cassandra and Kafka do. <clears throat> Next comes placements groups cluster. Okay. <clears throat> Now let's start. This, this, this is the first one basically. Pl placements groups cluster. Let's start. So in this placement group cluster, all the EC2 instances are interconnected. Okay, you can see all the EC2 instances are connected to each other. In a same rack, they are placed and in the same availability zone. So now this placement group cluster is this low latency and high throughput it it gives you high throughput so in a network where low latency and high throughput is required we can use placement groups like this okay what are its pros pros is great network 10 gbps bandwidth between instances are supported here what are cons so if the rack fails suppose because all the ec2 instances are placed in the same rack so if the rack fails all the instances fails simultaneously okay at the same time all the instances will fail and we will lose our instance next comes use case so big data work that needs to be completed fast at that time placement group cluster is used okay those application that needs as i said that needs extremely low latency and high network throughput then at that case we can place all the ec2 instances at the same rack and in the same availability zone using this cluster now comes placements group spread okay in this in this case when we asked for a spread placement group all the ec2 instances are going to be located on different hardware so as you can see here we have three az availability zones and we have six ec2 instances basically in this we have two only <clears throat> total is six we have two ec2 instances per partition okay and now what we will see that uh, this these are groups basically and these are located on different hardware suppose first is on ap south 1a then next is ap south 1b next is ap south 1c so these are all different uh, located at different hardwares suppose ec2 one is on hardware one ec2 uh, next is hardware two other is on hardware three other is on hardware four so what does that mean well what we get is that we can span across multiple availability zones and there is a reduced risk of simultaneous failure and why so because if any of my hardware suppose fails i'm pretty sure that my hardware two will not fail or my hardware three will be there to support okay 
and so that is the benefit from it what is the pros and cons now pros can span across different availability zones reduce risk is simultaneous failure as i said ec2 instances are on different physical hardware so when they are on different physical hardware if one fails then another will be working now what are cons of it so basically it is limited to seven instances per availability zone per placement group only next is use case so application that needs to maximize high availability we can use it there <clears throat> next is critical applications where each instances must be isolated from failure from each other suppose if my first instance is failed now and if we want to separate isolate them so that if my first instance fails then another instance which is located at different hardware should work properly should not be affected so there we can use this placement group spread <clears throat> next we can use placement groups partition in this you can see partition and what is this in this partition placement group we can have instances spread across partitions okay <clears throat> in multiple availability zones we can have seven partitions per availability zone so in this example we have partition 1 in us east 1a partition 2 in us east 1a partition 3 in us east 1b and on each partition we could have many ec2 instances you can see on this partition 1 we have four instances in partition 2 we have four instances partition 3 we have four instances we can take uh, as many as we can so in the first one <clears throat> i have four second one four four and all this so why do we use a partition placement group this is the question well each partition represents a rack in aws so by having many partition you we are making sure that our instances are distributed across many hardware racks and so therefore they are safe from a rack failure from one another as in uh, we saw in cluster as in our cluster our uh, ec2 instances were interconnected with each other and if one fails then all the system fails all the ec2 instances fail simultaneously but this is very different this partition is very different from the first case okay next is up to 100 of ec2 instances could be kept as i said the instances in a partition do not share racks with the instances in other partitions next a partition failure can strike many ec2 but won't strike other partitions suppose here if uh, <clears throat> in my partition one suppose there are four ec2 instances so if one instance fails then other instance would be affected but the instances which are on different partition won't be affected other ec2 instances won't be affected by it so this is something better say this is something advanced about this placement groups partition ec2 instances get access to the partition information as metadata they have images they have metadata in that okay so this was a placement group partition and usually the use cases are going to be big data applications which are partitions aware we have used uh, like in uh, our hadoop system we use partitions or buckets so partitions there that static partition and dynamic partition are used use cases of this placement groups partition like sdfs hbase cassandra and apache kafka so i hope now here you have got placement groups partition and now you can understand uh, what are all the partition groups and i hope now you can work on it so next we will do some hands-on on this till then thank you